So, how will... I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, lunch. Delphine's control of the diet differ from Rachel? Wow. If you, if you can give anything away. Hmm. Delphine's just a very smart woman. Um, so I think in terms of having a strategic mind, um, you can count on her for that. Um, her intentions are completely different than Rachel's. The thing is, when you have power, you can't show your intentions or the truth behind your power play um, all the time. Because if not, people will see um, what, what your next step is going to be, and sometimes you got to keep to yourself. So um, she will be uh, definitely a leader, uh, but she will be a mysterious one, which is also very exciting because you're. I think the audience is also going to wonder what what the next step is going to be. So that's what I can say. Yeah. 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 yeah all right. Cool. <laughs> that was very good and vague at the same time. <laughs> that's Hence, the key. Yeah, it's all from black. Yeah. Evelyn, good and vague, no shoe. <laughs> So after working with Tatiana for so long with all these different characters, what has it been like bringing Arya on board and having this whole new set of male clones? Uh, I, I get to work with Arya a lot this season, and I, he's, he did a great job. I mean, living up to the legacy that Tatiana yeah. laid down is, I mean, a daunting task for, for any actor, but he knocks it out of the park. I'm really excited to see, for you guys to see the work he did this year, because yeah. he kicked butt. For sure. All the promos, all the clips I've seen, I'm just like, oh god, I can't wait to see these characters just let yeah. loose. Yeah, and they're scary. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He plays scary yeah. well, doesn't he? Very creepy. And he's such a creepy. sweetheart. He's yeah. such and a he's sweetheart. He's the nicest really. guy ever. <laughs> yeah. Just like Tatiana when she plays Helena. Now everybody loves Helena, of course. But yeah. during season one, they're like, oh, what a creep. Yeah. We were always scared when she was walking around set and stuff in the Tatiana hair. Yeah. Not Tatiana hair. <laughs> Helena hair, excuse me. <laughs> That's her real hair. Cats out of the bag. Good one, Helena. Way to go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Apologize to Tad. <laughs> so with the financial troubles that um, you know, having, uh, will that bring you guys closer together? Will it bring the couple closer together? Will it, will it well, cause more drama between them? This season, Donnie and Allison are on point. They're on track and they're working together. Team Hendrix is really a thing for the first time more than any other season. So we get to see them work together for their family. Everything they do is for their family. And uh, it, it does put a lot of pressure on them, for sure. And there are elements that come into their relationship this season that challenge them completely. But um, they're strong. They're, they're stronger than... Donnie is stronger than people give him credit for. We know how strong Allison is. And when you put them together, there's there ain't nothing they can't handle. So, yeah, they're... They're in for some fun times in the suburbs, that's for sure. <laughs> what? Definitely taking to another level yeah. Yeah. this year. Yeah. Yeah. It was quite a revelation with Paul, uh, obviously, in the last episode of the season. And when did John and Graham give you an idea of, uh, of or was it literally Probably. getting to 10 and going, exactly. oh, okay. Yeah, so much. then how do you play that? You know, when exactly. you're sitting there. I did, I, that's, the first two seasons were a mystery to me. Mm -hmm. I thought a lot of the stuff that happened to him was really happened to him, mm -hmm. but it didn't. He was playing the double agent, and I didn't know, which is good. I mean, you don't want to intimate everything that right. you do, yeah. but this season is so much fun for me because he's finally in his element. Mm -hmm. he's, he's with the military. He gets to be himself, and it's uh, it was great. I, I love my story of this season. I'm doing a lot, a lot of cool things that, that I, I high-five the writers every time I see them just because I, I was so excited to get those scripts. And to... Did they tell you about Afghanistan? Do you know about it now? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know about Afghanistan. Okay. <laughs> it's not just a it's not just a code it's word. Not a code word. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> that, that's a fun thing about how John and Graham run the show is that they keep us in the dark a lot as well. Mm -hmm. All of season one, I didn't know that I was the, the monitor for Allison, and every time I would ask her when they were you know strapped me down and torturing me when when Allison was glue gunning me, I, I would keep going to John. I'd be like, okay, so I, am I her monitor or not? He's like, he's like, you know what? I'll say this. We don't know. <laughs> That's so a good just job play, awesome. just play that you're not, and then there you go. And then I didn't find out. Yeah, that's my John Foss. It's good. He's not here. Nobody, these guys can't tell. But, like, he knew yeah. but I think it's John's love of Lost, and you know, all the actors on Lost never knew what they're doing week yeah. to week, right? And I think he's probably like. Well, it's exciting for us. It is. It's great. It's yeah. fantastic. We don't get to watch the episodes. Our first experience is when we get to read the, the script. The scripts. Yeah. So anytime a script comes 
Thursday and I'm just like, oh, well, I got to drop what I'm doing now. And exactly. And I just get into it. It's Midnight, great. doesn't matter, you know, you know crack that baby over. Yeah. Yeah. What do, you, what do you want to say to the Delphine and Cosima fans um, for this season? Because they are rabid. <laughs> There's a lot of them. They're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I wish Pawnee had fans like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's so <laughs> <laughs> New ship. <laughs> How can I be good and vague at the same yeah. time on this one? Um, Just tell them that you love them and you appreciate their support. I mean, in terms of what I what I want to say to the fans is thank you. I feel like I've never had the a show that I've been on um, that has gotten such a strong response. I mean, what we do is fiction. We're blessed to wake up every day and be really passionate about what we do. But when it resonates in people's real lives, and I think in terms of cooking, that's what happens. Um, it gives that extra edge to, to exactly where you're going to work every day, and I feel like it, it, you know, I'm getting the sense from, from fans that um, it might have, for some of them, helped them to have the courage to be themselves. And if art can do that to anyone in any way, um, it's, it, if fiction can have that impact, then I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I feel so blessed, and I, I would like to thank them for or how involved they are with the show too, how they make it their own. I see the artwork, I see, I, I can't believe how, how people are responding to the show and, and jumping into that universe and making it even broader than it actually is, even though it's already pretty wide and vast. So that's what I want to say to them. In terms of for season three, um, I don't think Graham's going to hate me if I say that there's, there's a like huge connection between these two characters uh, and just like in real life sometimes you have a huge connection but you're not always always together for various reasons that doesn't mean that connection is not so hang in there you will never be together ever ever again either just like in real life there's heartbreak there's you know there's there's but um yeah, it's going to be a very interesting season for, for Kofi. Yeah. Well played. Well played. Excuse me. Um, how did you mentally prepare for shooting Max Headroom in the face? I, uh, Max yeah. Headroom? Yeah, the legend, Matt Frewer. Um, he was the nicest guy. The sweetest and the guy. the funniest guy. So funny. Such a goofball. Awesome. Like me. Um, so kind. Yeah. yeah, very kind. For that for that scene, I um, they told me that we would do the, the shoot, the shot. <laughs> we would shoot it three times. And we're like, great, okay, you've got three three takes of to to work with. Um, and then by the time we got to the scene, it was a Friday night. It was already one in the morning. And they're like, we don't have time to do it three times. We have time to do it once, so you have one take for this. So uh, that added like a whole other level of nervousness to the scene because it is a big scene. You want when, whenever there's an exit of a character, you want to you want to treat it with a lot of respect and a lot of care because it is a it is such a weird moment when you shoot that scene. And then that actor, you know, they're they're done, and it's like, well, let's let's hug it out. Uh, it's such a weird end of camp kind of feeling. So for that scene, I was really nervous that we had one take to do it, uh, but that really added to the tension in the scene. You kind of make that work for you. Um, and I also listened to a lot of Foo Fighters, My Hero, over and over again, <laughs> standing off to the side. That was the, that was the song playing Watch my ears. Goes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how I pumped myself up for that scene. Yeah, because Donnie was like stepping up. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.